Hey, what is up guys? Steve here, and it is time to start another stream. Today, we are going to be playing Kingler in Pokemon Blue. Now, Kingler, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats here. Well, take a look at the moveset here. So we're going to have to start with Bubble, Leer, and Vice Grip. Now, if you guys don't know anything, uh, Kingler's stats are... You know, I should probably consider pu pulling those up in future streams. Anyways, uh, the HP stat is kind of middling, the um, special stat's middling, and we're talking like low middling, like 55, 60-ish. Then we've got a very high attack and defense stat. So we will be able to tank a lot of hits. The problem is the hit that we can't tank are the hits that uh, we're weak to. So the Thunderbolts, the Petal Dances, the uh, Mega Drains, the Vine Whips, the Thunder Shocks, the Thunders, those will hit us for massive damage, possibly even one-shot us. So we'll see what happens, but Kingler's claim to fame is Crab Hammer, which is a high crit rate move, which means if you have over 65 speed, it will 100% chance crit. Unfortunately, we won't get that until level 42. So it'll be a little while before we get to that. Um, some of the moves here we're gonna need to pick up along the way so we're gonna either have harden or if we find it sword stance we're gonna have vice grip or if we find it body slam if we don't find it we're gonna have strength um, we're gonna obviously have crab hammer and the last move is going to be up for debate however it will be either ice beam which we can always get or if we find it, Blizzard. If neither of them end up being useful because of our low special stat, then we'll have Mimic. But anyways, there's a lot of finding going on in this one. So we will be picking up a lot of PM TMs. Fingers crossed we get the ones that we hope for. Not exactly the most move variety. If you notice, we have normal water and ice moves. That's basically it. So we've got our work cut out for us on this one. So we will see what's going to happen. Alright. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure to let me know if the music is too low or too high. Hopefully the audio is working better this time for my non-microphone audio. I The music's currently set at 30%, so we'll see. Oh, and by the way, if you guys don't know, chat is below here although it does not appear that chat is 100% working because there have been a handful of comments oh right 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 because right, I was on the other screen yes so chat is below now um, if the chat gets difficult to read I can edit it at the end of the stream all right let's go ahead and get started um, because speedrunner basically introduced it I think I'm just gonna start my time at the beginning so essentially most of my runs are gonna be 45 seconds off from the way I usually go now. Turn these. I mean, this automatically changes the moment the game starts. Do my code, but it's never too safe to be sorry. That's not the way it goes. Anyways, start. And one of these days, I think I might edit the ROM so my name is part of the starting name. It used to be like that. However, because of the, the Gen 2 um, skin I was using, uh, I had to get rid of it. There's a good chance I can start adding it again. By the way, it is the same ROM as last time. So we should hopefully get cut from, uh, from Gary's sister. All right, and I've got the main here is Noise Storm from that video with the dancing crabs. Boy, all the letters are just all around on this one. All right, and it looks like we are good to go. So, um, as you can probably imagine, with the water type. Golduck, we are not going to be using Bubble. That's probably pretty obvious. 
Vice Grip is not a crit rate move, so we could have weakened it with Leer. Um, I see no reason to weaken weakening it with Leer, so we're just going to go ahead and move forward. Ironically, very interesting, Cut would not improve our moveset since Vice Grip is 55 and Cut, I believe, is 50. I actually kind of want to run into another Doug Trio. I want to see, because our uh, our special stat is so low, um, in theory, Vice Grip is 55, Bubble is 60 power. So, Bubble should do less damage, but you also got to remember that Doug Trio's special stat is not great either. Mm. If we hit level 8... I think there's a good chance we should we should face the optional rival. So we'll battle whatever we can on the way up to Viridian. If we get somehow lucky and not a single encounter, we'll just go ahead and skip it. Looks like we're probably going to need two encounters to level up. Well, there it is. And we get our chance. Well, it's about the same. But then again, if you look at the defense and special stat, the special is actually higher on Doug Trio this early in the game. But yeah, that looked basically the same. That won't level us up. Let's go ahead and get our battle in. Right, the um High XP yield Pokemon are going to be, you know, the higher level ones, like this optional rival battle, which is going to have this gold duck, which is going to be great XP yield. And then there's going to be the level 9 trainer in Viridian Forest. And possibly, um, I'm not entirely sure if we should battle the Lightyear's trainer. I think the last several runs I've grabbed that Pokeball that's in the left side of the screen. I think it's probably just too slow. Well, we've got to revive. That's not good. Or not useful. Wow, no encounters there. Um, interesting, because I wasn't going down the middle, which is the middle area is the one with no encounters. So I actually just got lucky there. Wow. Surprisingly, it did not one-shot Jinx, but, you know... The stats are relatively moderate early on. That's alright, uh, speedrunner. Don't worry about it. It's my fault for having to delay the stream a whole day. But yeah, so one of the things um, I think we learned from the Gengar run is if we can absolutely push the... Um, ooh, that's... Ooh, okay. If we can push the training, we definitely should push the training. All right, let's go ahead and hit it with a Leer or two first. Um, so we wanna push the training as far into the late game as we can, because the time is not going to be that much different. Wow, ooh, that hurts. Mmm, yes. Okay, well, we need a few more levels probably going to be level 13 next attempt. Machamp is not the easiest to deal with. Okay, Cubone is... Oh, well, you know, it's a ground type. But, uh, Rhyhorn is good. Alright, um, we could use a little bit more XP. Another level will probably do. 290 experience. Oh, wow. Alakazam, 10 defense. Good XP. Interesting music. Okay, how much XP do I get from Alakazam? 132. That's awesome. I mean, that's the same as a meta. I mean, think about it. A Metapod is the highest. A Metapod level 6 is the highest XP yield you can get this early in the game, normally. But 132 off of an Alakazam is great. 
So, let's go ahead and see if two more levels made a difference. Well, it definitely looks like it made a difference on our defense. I'm not sure it made too much of a difference on our offense, but let's go ahead and take a look. Bubble did less damage. I had a feeling Bubble would do less damage, just by being higher power. A lot of people get a little bit of confusion there when it comes to moves that deal high, uh, super effective damage. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of the potion, get rid of the max potion, the max revive, regular revive, nugget. Alright, probably could have used that protein we picked up, but that's alright. Alright, we need to catch some Pokemon for HM using, so we can get rid of Cut. You know what's really cool? I, I One of these days, I was thinking, man, imagine how cool it would be if we got Cut before we make it through the cave. But then, it, it dawned on me that it wouldn't matter if we got Cut before we made it to Cerulean, because Brock allows you to use Flash. <laughs> Miss... Misty allows you to use Cut. So, unfortunately, we can't do a major, major skip, which would have been really cool if we could. Boy, having the, um... the attack badge boost this early in the game is pretty nice. So what I mean by the attack badge boost. You can see there in the little bottom hand, left hand corner of the screen, there's a badge to the right hand side of the attack. Um, the badge boost is 12.5% to your stats and you get it when you beat certain gym leaders. And Brock's is attack. So with a high, as you can tell by the um, stat bar next to the attack, we've got a really, really high attack Pokemon. So it's pretty nice having it early on. All right, we need to start consciously thinking of the Pokemon we're gonna be catching for uh, for HMs. Also, we need to pick up some moves here. And we got a Ponyta, which is not gonna do us any good. I don't need to deposit it, but I figured if I'm going to be stopped by the PC to deposit this full restore, I might as well. Because we're going to be picking up a lot of items here. Lapras is the perfect kind of Pokemon to catch for HMs. Oops. If we had Pokeballs. Which it appears that I forgot to buy. That sucks. I probably should have just considered catching Pokemon later instead of backtracking here. The backtracking is gonna is gonna hurt. I'm surprised I forgot. I mean, I went to the Pokemon Center like I normally do. In the last few times we've had problems catching all the Pokemon with the 15 Pokeballs, so 15 Pokeballs does not appear to be enough. So I'm gonna start making it 20 Pokeballs. Yeah, Lapras is a fantastic Pokemon. Both Surf. Alright, we got Takedown. You know, for a really high attack power Pokemon, Takedown is not a bad move to have. Welcome to the stream, uh, 73 Gaming. It's uh, good to have you here, Online Bullies friend. Um, if you got, if you will have noticed, I have made changes to my layout just a bit. So in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you will have noticed that your comments now show up on the stream. So you'll forever be immortalized to people who watch the streams. Okay, well we got Earthquake, which normally would be fantastic. Unfortunately, not today. Oh wait, hold on. That's not going to be a Moonstone. Marowak. That's good for cut? Or I could just get a crit. You know, that happens. Jolteon. 
Um, you know, I'm not going to take the Thundershock risk. Sea King's good for Surf. Let's go ahead and do that. Or we could one-shot it. Um, looking like I'm going to start using Bubble to catch these Pokemon. Shelter's not good for anything, as far as I know. Um, you know, Weeping Bell's good for, for Cut. Okay. I don't know if Shelter can learn Surf, can it? I mean, I guess it makes sense. It should, if you really think about it. I mean, in theory, surfing on a shelter seems like a bad idea, but uh, as far as like a move selection goes, yeah, that seems like a good choice. Oh, Ponyta, the one that we do have. Oh, look, I use super effective bubble does not finish Pokemon off. Like, this is this is what I was telling you guys about. Like, even though we have water moves, they're not good. You know, our special is just so low. I mean, look at it. It's it's 77 versus 35. You know, it's it's a big, big difference. So, Crab Hammer is a water move, if you guys didn't know. Oh, the F... This is the first time we've got a, a an item that's actually, like, matters there. Normally, you get only moves that don't matter. TMO5, which is Mega Kick. I forget if we can learn Mega Kick. Oh, uh, we cannot. We cannot learn Mega Kick. Uh, for some reason... Wow, I for some reason I just checked the rare candy like I always do. Okay. Mm, still do not have the HM Pokemon. But, you know, we'll do. Onyx is a good one to see there. Nidoran, good one to see. Surprisingly, not a one-shot, though. Interesting. Pikachu, one-shot with terrible, terrible defense. And we got Golduck, which can't really do much damage to us anyways. Perfect. That went as well as it could have gone. Um, still need to catch Pokemon. That needs to be on my hand, or on my mind. Remember, we have Cut, so the moment we beat Misty here... We can check the old Amber, like, early, which is pretty good. Weedle, okay. So, were you playing some sort of weird randomizer where your Dragonite had Crab Hammer? Because, I mean, as far as I know, Crab Hammer is only a Kingler move. So, you must have been playing a randomizer with random level up moves, random uh, TMs, like, all that good stuff. Because it is stuff you can do if you use the Universal Pokemon Randomizer. Randomize the um, moves that the Pokemon get. Right, in the, the moves that are in TMs. Oh, two Omastars. That's not good. Um, luckily, I don't have any stat drops, and it doesn't have any good moves against us. Yeah, yeah, I, I always thought about doing that, but then I figured the content would be a little bit harder to watch for people because they wouldn't understand everything. Um, now, if I was like a really, really big streamer, you know, big streamers can get away with anything. They'll, they'll, what, they'll, you know, their audience will just watch whatever is put in front of them. But I need to connect with the audience. The audience needs to recognize the Pokemon. They need to, they need to think I can do that run myself. So this is like the most bare bones um, randomizer that you can probably consider doing like as a normal person. Because I didn't really, like everything you recognize about Pokemon is still here. The only thing that's being shuffled is the places, the Pokemon, but not the moves and, you know, the, the items. You know, it, the idea of Executor having Ice Punch is crazy. Because if you think about it, uh, Executor has got a really, really high special. I don't think a lot of people know that about Executor. The special is so darn high. But it is. So the idea that it could use Ice Punch is pretty crazy. Okay, well, we have Surf, a Surf user now. 
nine tails just for the numbers, I guess. I don't think nine tails can learn anything. Maybe dig. I wonder if I should use guillotine for the meat, for the lulls, at some point. Like on a Pokemon that, like, really, really resists our moves. Like a cloister. Fables got a lot of uh, HP. Not worth using, of course. Pinsir. Pinsir's a pretty good Pokemon with pretty high defense. Alright, fingers crossed. You know how awesome it would be if we could get like Swords Dance this early in the game? That would be nuts. Any battle with like six Pokemon, you just start off with the Swords Dance. Uh, we got Solar Beam. Yay! Solar Beam! Yeah, Body Slam would be pretty sweet, too. We also have the SS ticket already, so we can play the game like normal. For once. I don't think so far we have ever gone to the SSN this early in the game. Pokey Flute. Oh my god. Everything is open to us, guys. Everything. We still don't have a cut user, though. We'll catch a cut user on our way down. Actually, now that I think about it, we still need a cut, a strength, and a fly user. Yeah. I should have considered catching Gloom. I don't... I ha I'm trying to memorize Pokemon that have, like, at least two HMs. So the ones that learn one or the ones that learn Flash are usually not the ones that I uh, really remember. Okay, so this is one of those Pokemon, Electrode, where it could have been a problem. But Electrode doesn't learn an electric move by level up. I don't know if you guys knew that, but um, it's a very weird fact. I do not really consider that an electric move. I mean, technically it's an electric move, but yeah. Yay, hypnosis. You know, it's like withdraw is technically a water move, you know? Is it a water move though, really? Boy, that battle took a lot longer than it needed to. Never really walk around that grass, and unfortunately, it didn't pay off, but that's alright. Elixir, nice. I'm pretty thankful I got that elixir early on. Mr. Mime, I think, only learns Flash. Boy, we are not getting a lot of options. It would be nice if we could just find a Charizard. That would be pretty sweet. Yes, high PP on device grip has been a like a lifesaver. Sweet, sweet. All right, um, we actually can't, um, so hold on. We can't pick up some items. All right, uh, escape ropes, TM29 is take, or nine is takedown. We don't need it. Takedown's actually pretty bad. Super potion, no thanks. TM26 is earthquake, no thanks. We can go ahead and take the HP up. 05 is mega kick, which we can't learn. 32 is solar beam, max revive. 22. Oh, that's Solar Beam. Okay, well, 
TM28's dig. We want to learn that. I forget which one that we didn't get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I said the wrong thing. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get the old rod. We need to catch some Pokemon. Bike voucher. I forgot to check which um what the bike bike voucher woman even gives, which is bad because um it's kind of a long way to backtrack. Ooh, we got strength. We could just teach strength and not have to worry about body slam later. I'm not sure if that's if that's a good option or not. I mean, it's an option. So, um, that learns strength right there. Um, Paris learns cut. Oops. Cut and dig. Know that. Okay, so now we just need a fly user. Yep. Okay. So let's see, we've got Cut, Dig, Strength, and Surf now. Right, so we just need Fly. Come on, stay in the ball, there you go. Alright. Kabutops, I think, uh, actually learned Surf. Not that I would use it for Surf. Alright, what do I got? I got eight. You know what we can do with eight? We can make two more checks. So, because we have Cut... Go ahead and do that. Paris. While we're here, let's do this. So, yes. Let's go ahead and buy a few more balls. Okay. So we can make two more checks. Sorry, three. Three more checks. No, it's two. It's two. I'm stupid. Okay, I actually did not think that would one-shot. That actually surprised me. This one definitely shouldn't. Unfortunately, the uh, low stat caught up. All right, so that brings us up to nine. See, going through this cave is bad when you don't need Pokemon. Going through this cave is good when you do need Pokemon. Okay, whatever, Pikachu. Take... Are you serious? I one-shot Pikachu? Wow, okay. All right, ten. We need to get to 12. Did I already catch a Seedra? Well, we just did. Wow, are you serious? Okay. Alright, we're about to get to the territory where running into Pokemon will be bad. Okay, did, do we have 12 now? We have 11. Okay, so I did catch a Seedra already. Oh, right. My speed is so slow from being paralyzed that I can't run away. <sighs> wow, this really sucks. We're definitely going to hit up the Pokemon Center while we're here. Okay. So, let's talk to the aid. Oops, not that aid. This aid. The T. Thank you. The T. Wow. We have so many avenues open to us now. I don't even I don't even know where to start. The T just I mean the T just allows us to go like everywhere now. The card key? Wow. Okay. We are making such good progress. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Of course, I'm not going to one-shot, and I'm going to miss. I figured, you know, if I have to go through this cave, I might as well just beat them, you know? Ditto's got really, um, what's it called? Middle stats? I think it's like kind of like Mew, where it's got, I think, 36 of everything? Oh, come on. Why is it all Seedras? Yeah, I know I need one more for 12, but, um, just, all right. 
Okay, I figured I would have actually have gotten a battle <laughs> on the way there. <laughs> come on, come on. I already caught a Kabutops. No, no thank you, no thank you. Come on. There we go, Mankey. Sure. Got six balls to do it. Really? Is it going to be like this? Are you really going to be like this, Mankey? That was uh, in the bubbles, bubble beam slot. Okay, gold duck, sure. I probably should have checked what this was. The secret key. Okay, good, 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 good. Wow, um, that means... If that's the secret key... What else do we need to beat the game? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, other than Surf, we can kind of beat the game. We got the card key. Yeah. That's interesting. So let's go ahead and teach some things and get rid of some things here. Alright, I've already taught Cut. Dig, let's go ahead and teach that to Paris as well. Um, TMO4. Teach that to Blast Toys. Alright. Deposit, a cut. Deposit the rare candy. Deposit the elixir. Deposit four. Uh, full restore. Okay. We're good there. Let's go ahead and battle Surge while we're here. Okay, you need to move up here so I can hit you more often. Man, if we can get Fly, that would be great. Yeah, we only have one battle to check on the, the SSN, so we're definitely going to hit up the SSN. Not to mention, um, you know, it's, it's just a good spot. Plus, we could... In theory, one battle check for... No, no, never mind. Never mind, we should just check the one spot. I was thinking, you know, there's a chance we could just consider... We're level 31, so I think we could probably handle... Handle our rival. Go ahead and save anyways. Tentacle, that's good. Can't do much damage to us. Nidorino, all right, good. Hypno, okay. Um, Hypno's actually got okay defense. And Golduck. I mean, we could check for Body Slam at this point. I'm not really worried too much about Body Slam, but we could. Gold Teeth, wow, okay. That was, uh, that was good. All right. Whatever, we'll, we'll check for Body Slam. Whatever, it's it's right here. I mean, strength is fine, yeah. Strength is fine, but uh, the thing is, as long as we don't have Sword Stance, it's still worth picking. Dude, that was Sword Stance, wasn't it? It sure was. Okay, it's official. We don't need, uh, we don't need Body Slam. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Strength back and use it. Okay. Deposit, get rid of Nine Tails, Psyduck. Alright, that should be good for those. Deposit, SS Ticket. We're good there. And pick up TM4, or sorry, HMO4. Go ahead and teach that. Over first move, get rid of HMO4. Okay. And we can go ahead and get rid of a few more items. TM24. Okay, accidentally deposited the gold T or sorry, the Pokeball, which is fine. That's alright. Alright, let's go ahead and do the T. 
so we're gonna be doing a bunch of checks right now. All right, um, this will look stupid, but we only have one battle. One battle here. One battle, just one battle. It's the guy who normally has an Arbok. You know, sure, we'll take that. Just one battle. It, that's, that's all it is, one battle. No biggie. Venomoth, I mean, it's Venomoth, we're fine. See, I was a little worried because it was a higher level, but good rod. The good rod was worth it, guys. Ab oh, that was bad. Let's go ahead and sword stance. Let's go ahead and two sword stance. Yeah. Fingers crossed, guys. Okay, this guy has got low level Pokemon, which is good. Um, on the bright side, training, you know. Stomp, no need. Would have been useful um, back when we had Vice Grip, but that's okay. First floor, all right. All right, let's go ahead and get our few checks. All right, we don't have the lift key, so we can't do that extra check. Surf? Wait, that was it, wasn't it? That was... That, was that it? Should we just beat the gym leaders now? Oh, I just taught Surf to the wrong Pokemon. No Crab Hammer, guys. No Crab Hammer. That's unfortunate. You know what? People came here to watch Crab Hammer. That didn't, that didn't happen. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Very, very sorry. I, I... Only the people watching the stream will know. I know people, you know, don't like to forgive those kind of things, but that's like a minor infraction. I mean, learning the wrong move. Okay, well, we got the bicycle, so there's another thing we can do. Let's go ahead and get our badge first, though. Okay. Right, right. Hitmonchan has pretty good defense. Gengar. Ooh, paralyzed and confused. That is, uh, that is certainly a problem. And a super potion. Okay, well, better luck next time. Okay. We're not going to give it a third try, though. Paralyzed the first try. Yep, good job. Good job. That's, that seems right. All right. Hit on Lee. Okay. Okay. Executor. Negator. Okay. We will come back. That seems like a lot of luck we'd have to overcome. We can, we can just battle other things, you know? We can come back. Okay. I mean, we're at 35 minutes. We can do this. We have all of the tools to beat the game. We just need to beat the game. It's the first run where we have had everything we need to beat the game. So early in the game. Oh no, 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 no. It has Razor Leaf. It has Razor Leaf. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. 
The Razor Leaf could have one-shot us, I'm telling you. Frozen! Wait, Frozen? That's a loss. That could have been a waste of time. Swords Dance. Okay, it's just rap. It's just rap. Double Swords Dance. Okay, that was an accident, but... Okay. I was right. It could one-shot us. Roadblocks. Okay. Bad, bad gameplay on my end. Okay, good play. Good play. Thank you. Thank you. That was convenient. I appreciate that very much. Guys looking out. Oh, not strength. Bad, 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 bad. What is with all the Gengars? What is with these gym gym trainers with Gengars? Okay, well, we're not getting past this guy either. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. We will just go ahead and drop off a few errands. We got the useless item finder. We got the lift key, which could give us two checks, which we don't need to check. I'm right now just looking for fly. If we could get fly, we could save a lot of time. Okay, uh, keep forgetting I have not bought repels yet. That's bad. Oh my god, I didn't even move. Antidote. I only have one elixir. Otherwise, I'd probably be ignoring these items. Magic harp, okay, interesting. Hypno, okay. TM20, that is rage. Okay. Okay, we have an ether and an elixir now. Super rod. M17 is submission. Dome fossil. That's what we like to see. Okay, bunch of useless checks all around. Alright, what do we what, what can we dump? We can dump the pokey flute. We could dump the uh the good rod surf item binder. Super Rod. Nope, did not mean to do that. Bike voucher. All right. You know that's worth it. That's worth checking. That is definitely worth checking. If we can get fly, that will be worth it. Fingers crossed. Sylph scope. Okay. I'm not really sure where to go. Um, everything right now is 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 strong. I just need to train. These Pokemon are like level 30, right? They're good. They they should be good XP. Yeah, there's there's nothing to do but train. Um, oh, I could pick up Ice Beam, but that won't make any difference at all because right now the problem is all these Gengars. Ugh. Really? So many Gengars! Why are there so many Gengars? Can't train there. Okay, train in Sylphco, maybe. We're just being walled by everything. If you're wondering, I'm heading over to the heal girl, which only requires one battle. This is the problem with being able to do everything really early, is because you just, you're just under level because you're just so far into the game. Okay, so we'll just, just train here. But it, it's turning out, guys, our low special is exactly what our problem is. Which is exactly what I thought our problem would end up being. Yeah. Mm, boy. 
it's even kind of hard to, to, to beat these guys. Like, I can't use Bubble Beam. It technically is stronger, but it's not. And I can't use Sword Stance because that's not going to help oh, whoops. That's not going to help us beat all of the uh, Gengars. We could get to level 42. Guillotine. Guillotine would probably help us get to the Gengars. We don't we don't need to do Lavender Tower. That that's just a waste of time. Lavender Tower's got way too many Pokemon. And we have all the checks, I think, that we need to beat the game. Except, you know, fly, but we don't need fly. Yeah. So we'll just train into level 42. It's that simple. Only thing that really can stop us here are Gengars. Oh, and PP, apparently. I need to learn what floor that um, the heal girl is on. So that way I can take the elevator. Because right now I take the long way around. That's not the way. That's not the way either. I need to know what floor this is. Okay, I guess I've already beaten everybody on that floor. Is this technically the, the highest level trainers that I could be battling? I wonder if there are higher level trainers I could be battling. Um, there are gym trainers um, in some of the later gyms. Okay. I don't know why I dropped Bubble Beam. That was stupid. I know it's got low special and all, but still bad move overall. Well, Bubble Beam itself is not a bad move. Bubble Beam on Kingler is a bad move. Okay, well, looks like we're going to be uh, going right there to the heal, heal chick with poison. Fourth floor, you say, huh? That is uh, not right. I could go the long way around. It's not a place. It's a it's a girl. Okay, that's it. It's the ninth. I took a guess. I took a guess. It's the ninth floor. I made a good guess. Okay, we're at level 40. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost at level 40 42. All good, all good. No big deal. It wasn't like a big waste of time or anything. <sighs> okay. All right. We're getting there. Um, if we could finish... Oh, wow. Two PP ups. You know? I'm not going to lie. Uh, we could... Oh, no. Not that one. We could use some more PP on strength. It will just make the training go that much faster. All right, we already did the battles here. I already did the battles here. I already did the battles here. <coughs> All right, um, I think at the moment we hit level 42, we will go ahead and try rival five. Boy, it would be nice to have fly. You, I can't believe how many runs we've done without fly. 
It is crazy how many runs we've done without fly. But another nice thing about this run is we haven't had to go check the super, uh, the super rod. I hate checking the super rod. There's just so many uh, trainers along the way. We already battled that guy. Already battled that guy. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Head down. Another floor. There's another guy. Machop, not gonna be high XP. Kadabra. Dugong, perfect. All right, we got all the XP we need. Let's head to the heal girl and we'll face the rival. That's fine. I understand we're not we're not actually level 42 yet, but that is fine. We can just we can we can get it on the rival. All we have to do is beat one one battle. Eradicate. Right. We can beat Eradicate. All right, defense drop, sure, okay. Crab hammer, absolutely, get rid of bubble beam. Perfect, Gengar, wow. That could not have been a better time to learn crab hammer. And we didn't hit ourselves, perfect. All right, we now have the way to defeat the Gengars. All right, we need to go, oh. Oh, it is a good thing we outsped. We get set up on Raticate. As long as it doesn't have Super Fang, it doesn't. It's fine, alright. Okay, okay. It's so much. I can't believe it. It's so close to being. <sighs> really? Really, Rival? Really? You're gonna be like this? You're gonna be the problem? I mean, I have to beat him. Okay. The learning the move is actually the most annoying part about this battle. Okay, we missed. I didn't even know you could miss. But now we know. We have one strength set up. And it took down Raichu. Okay. And Golduck. Alright, we took down Golduck. Okay. Let's head back to the heel chick. Like, we needed to beat him. Like, right after this, we need to battle Sabrina. We need to save some time somewhere. If we can save some time by battling Sabrina right after this, then, then that's what we gotta do. Because if we have to backtrack so many places, it's gonna suck. Especially since it doesn't look like we're going to be able to beat Gengar. Unfortunately, our special was the thing that was holding us back. But, we can still beat, uh, was it, was our second place guy? Um, it was Hitmonlee, I think. Boy, another Gengar. Wow, so many Gengars. And they all start with Confuse Ray, which is the worst part about the Gengar. Okay. Dig out. Alright, now we have to battle Sabrina. After we battle Sabrina, we'll go to Erica. And we'll just work our way oops, up down, down, left. This will probably be the last hard battle for a while. If it's hard at all. Okay, we were outsped. That's unfortunate. Kangaskhan, low special. Crab Hammer obviously should do the job. Disable. Okay, we don't have Crab Hammer. That's fine. Not having Crab Hammer is only bad for like a Gengar. 
perfect, perfect. Okay, okay. We're doing well, we're doing well. Um, go ahead and dig back. Let's do this. Now head over to, make sure to heal. Uh, head over to Erica. You know, skipping the rockets is gonna be great. Not having to go through all those battles in the rockets is fantastic. Okay, let's do this. Gengar, okay, but big level advantage this time. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, Executor was pretty, pretty darn good. So I'm, I'm happy we were able to take that one down with strength. Okay, um, so we, we do have one thing to do. Eh, come on. We need to buy a Poke Doll. We need to buy fresh water. We need to get TM-13. Again, not going to be a useful TM, but... It's, it's our backup option, just in case. Probably only for Dragonite, I imagine. All right. Oh, why did I do that? What? I was holding B. So if you guys don't know, if you hold B, you stop moving. The problem is, uh, it's a little finicky after you get outside of a battle. All right, Gengar guy, let's do this. I didn't know either. Uh, Scott's thoughts told me about holding B. Okay. There we go, one shot, that's more like it. Like, I'm still wanting to use uh, strength every every opportunity I can. Just because, look at our stats. 174 versus 78. Like, it's, it's big. Big, big difference. Okay. Rhydon may have been an issue before Crab Hammer. Alright. Boy, this is, um... This battle's not gonna be a problem, most likely. However, um... We don't have Fly, so we actually have to walk. Um, walk all the way to Pallet. That sucks. Alright, um, while we're here, I should buy some repels because we're gonna be walking to Pallet. I can surf onto this town. The problem is, then I have to walk through the Whirl Islands. Trust me, you don't want to walk through the Whirl Islands. I basically just made, I basically just told myself that that route doesn't exist. We are not going to ever walk through the Whirl Islands. I've tried, it is bad. It is very, very bad. This is just faster. Because um, you can't get through the World Islands without moving boulders. I have not memorized the boulders. Come on. Alright. 
Um, I'm thinking, uh, is, is Blaine the only badge that I don't have now? Other than, you know, the final badge? Is Blaine the final badge in order to get to, uh, uh, Cerulean? Also, we're only level 48. That's a little scary. Like, I should be battling these trainers, but... But I, I guess I'm not. I may have... I, I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and battle uh, Giovanni's trainers. And just fingers crossed we can do the league. Maybe, just maybe Mimic will be fine. Enough. That extra training we did um, against the quote-unquote lower level Pokemon, that was going to end up hurting us a lot. No need for Harden. Oh. Alright, I was gonna consider digging out, but then I just realized we haven't healed for a very long distance. I've never gone back up before. Um, yeah. Okay. So be it. It's fine. It's not gonna be a big deal. Oh, I got a crit. Okay. That helps. I'm pretty sure we have the rest of the badges. We do. Okay, good, 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 good. I actually don't remember exactly what time we got for Gengar. I think it was exactly one hour. Wow, okay. I just assumed one sword's dance would have been good enough. But 122 is the time to beat. So we've got we've got a bit of room. I don't know if we should be comparing any Pokemon to Gengar. I mean, it's Gengar. It's got higher everything. Oh, that Gengar used Dream Eater. Why couldn't other Gengars use Dream Eater? That would have been nice. Wow, Crab Hammer has missed twice in a row. In so, um, the move must be like, what, 90% accurate? 85, wow, okay. Did not expect that. Also, it is still a concern of mine that uh, we, oh crap, still do not have like a lot of uh, PP replenishing items for the league. We have Elixir and Ether, that's it. Fifty one is so low. We have, I think, one rare candy, too. 
that one rare candy will be um, for like a moment where we need to use Swords Dance um, and Badge Boost in the Elite Four. Okay, Venusaur was the wrong Pokemon to set up on. Fingers crossed that's the only one we need to set up on. I'm still not sure if Ice Beam would have done the trick. Uh, it's not exactly, you know, a strong move here in this situation. That's alright. Okay, okay. We're still making good time if we were going for the 122 record to beat. Ooh. <laughs> rare candy! It was a rare candy! I can't believe that. Okay. We have a little bit of room for error now with that rare candy. Alright, um, Antidote, Moonstone, TM20, Rage, uh, 17, Sylph, TM07, Horn Drill, 2, Razor Wind. Oh, we have two, uh, Ethers. Okay, that, that's better. 46, uh, Psy Wave, 21, Mega Drain. Oh, we still have the Poke Doll. Darn it! I forgot to get Mimic. Darn it. Well, I guess we're gonna do it without Mimic then. Come on, two battles. Oh, this could be rough. This could be real rough. We never even got Blizzard. All right. Set up on Swords Dance seems like a really good. Po oh wow, we should definitely set up. The only thing that's gonna suck here is Sing, Sing. Like, like we're not gonna take damage here. All right, we're good. We'll just sweep through with Strength. Fingers crossed, no Gengars. Crab Hammer was probably still stronger there. All right, that's probably gonna be our strategy going forward. Find a Pokemon we could set up on, set up on that Pokemon. Really? That was an accident. Boy, we do not have a lot of reset time in order to beat Kit on Lee. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are more Pokemon than just Gengar. Uh, Venusaur has been a problem. Uh, Victory Bell has been a problem. It's just that Gengar has been the worst problem. Even, like, Alakazam also, you know, outsped me that one time, which was a problem. Oops. So, it's not going to be easy, per se, if there are no Gengars. Oh, Jolteon will certainly be a problem. Raichu. Raichu has one of the, been the biggest problem. Basically, exactly what I said at the beginning of the run, anything that's grass or electric is a problem. And to be fair, I mean, that's to be expected. We're not fast. Well, we're not fast enough. We are uh, have terrible HP, and we have terrible special. So, you know. You can hope. Alright. So, let's see. We got two full restores. We got a rare candy. The elixir. Okay. We'll go ahead and buy two more full restores. We'll move everything to the front. Full restore. Elixir, Ether, uh oh, 
Okay, well, we're a little faster. Oh, we have three rare candies. Okay, that's a that's good. All right. This is it, guys. All right, we got 16 minutes. That's a good Pokemon to set up on. Yeah, it has Hypnosis, but it also doesn't have any moves that can hurt us that much. All right, we've got all three strengths set up. Okay, good, good, good. You know, I bet you strength was probably still better than uh, Crab Hammer there. However, um, a thing to note here is, remember, we don't we only have two Ethers and one Elixir. So, if we can use Crab Hammer or Ice Beam, we should use Hi Crab Hammer or Ice Beam. All right, uh, this one just has Psy Beam and Psychic. We could set up on that. Okay. Ouch. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It was the first Pokemon. It's not a big deal. When it's the first Pokemon, it's just a reset. Don't re don't uh, don't set up on Venomoth. Simple as that. All right. Gengar! No! Okay. Okay. Confuse Ray. It always starts with Confuse Ray. One level. We are one level away. I don't know why it didn't hit me with anything better, but, you know, we will gladly take it. That's okay. You know, it looks bad, but it's not too bad. Oops. Crab Hammer was better there. Hypno. Strength. Okay, we didn't get to set up any swords dance. Ooh, okay, 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 we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We won. That's all that matters in the end. Okay, we have four crab hammers and eight ice beams. So we use the crab hammer sparingly. Try and use ice beam if possible. Alright, horn drill, horn drill, or sorry, swords dance. Fully set up swords dance. Strength. B drill. Eh. Strength. Sure. Whatever. File plume. Strength. Wiggly tough. Strength. We'll just use an ether. We'll use an ether on strength. No problem. No. Not like this. No. Really? It survived on a sliver. A sliver. Sliver. Come on. <sighs> Venomoth. Never saw Venomoth coming as a threat. Throughout the entire run, Venomoth was just kind of there. To be fair, we haven't seen too many of them, though. Watch this be a range. It was a range, of course. Alright, use that ether. Full restore. Alright. Nine tails. No oh, we could set up. We could set up. For sure we could set up. It's so weak. Alright, we do have we do have a defense drop now. I know uh strength seems like a bad option there, but remember, we've got 961. Okay, well, we had 961 attack. We were basically a bulldozer of attack. Alright, we'll go ahead and use our elixir. Full restore. And, you know, let's try without the rare candy. Maybe we can get one of our lowest times ever. Or sorry, one of our lowest levels ever. Okay. Perfect. File Plume, not a good Pokemon to set up on. Not a good Pokemon to set up on. That did not do as much damage as I was hoping. Okay. We have to set up on uh, Alakazam. That's fine. You know, Alakazam can't put us to sleep, so... You know, there is that. Alright. 
And because we didn't even do half, we need we need all three. On the bright side, we do outspeed the Alakazam now. Okay, hit punch in, sure, sure. I can't see myself not using strength at this point. Two vile plumes on the final team. That was a nuisance. Alright. So, um What do I say about Kingler? We got our second best time. However, we got to skip the majority of the game. Okay, so let's we'll we'll do a recap when we get to this final time here. So let's just recap everything we skipped, alright? We skipped Rock Tunnel. We skipped uh We skipped the Rocket Hideout. We skipped the Pokemon Mansion. We skipped the Pokemon Tower. <laughs> we skipped like we skipped so so much. Oh, so I mean this <laughs> this was as good of a run. Like this is this is peak Kingler, you know? Um if I were to replay this run, I think I could get under an hour for the simple fact that I, now I know that I will get sword stains and I know that training matters because of all of the um uh all of the the Gengars. So uh, getting crab hammer like as soon as possible would have been smart. So uh there there is room for improvement. However, that was it was as good as Kingler's going to get. But it did surprise. It did surprise. Um, but it, it is technically our second best Pokemon. So, um, I will update the rankings. I did not update the rankings from the last stream yet, so there's nothing to bring up. But I will definitely upgrade it for the following week. Anyways, to recap what we're going to be doing next week, um, we're going to be doing three randomizers next week. Um, so, there's... I had this question that was running through my head. Because we're allowing the evolution of Pokemon, that means we're going to actually have a thin amount of Pokemon that we can do. Because, you know, we're getting rid of all the first stages and we're getting rid of all the second stages, essentially. So, there's what, like 80 Pokemon we could possibly do? So, we will eventually go through them all. Or, well, sorry. We'll eventually go through repeats before we go through them all. So, I was wondering if I should not allow repeats in the polls. So for instance, um, I'm not going to keep on doing randomizer or keep on randomizing until we get three new Pokemon. That, that seems ridiculous. I'm thinking I just don't put the Pokemon I haven't done in the poll. So for instance, you know, if Krabby comes up as one of the three Pokemon, I just won't put it in the poll. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's what we'll do. Because here's the goal. If I'm doing three randomizers a week, I'm going to go through them all. Pretty quick, actually. After I finish all of the Gen 1 Pokemon, I'm thinking I'll do Gen 2. Gen 2 sounds... Uh, I haven't looked into if there is a Gen 2 randomizer available, or like key item randomizer available, but that sounds like a plan. So... I will look into that, but that's the new plan. So we'll do three randomizers next week. Um, I will hopefully get the write-on video out on Saturday. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So some of the polls will just be two Pokemon. Anyways, guys, I uh, appreciate you guys for stopping by. Um, I will see you guys again on... Monday, hopefully. Monday, Tuesday is interchangeable, by the way, because um, my brother's schedule. My brother's got something on Tuesday, which is usually the day, go, day I go to his house. Uh, then it'll be sw switched with Monday. And the only thing I can do is pos is come out with a with a statement, but it, he doesn't switch it very often. So yeah, we'll see you again on Monday, again with Thursday with Speedrunner, and then Friday. That's that's the plan, pretty much every week. So have a nice night, guys.